Hi friends, it's Ashley from Live Happy Tarot. Um, on my channel, I do a lot of deck reviews, which is what I'm going to do today, but I also do some three card readings and uh, I like to talk tarot. So today I have a deck review of this deck, the Botanical Tarot deck, the Terra Botanical Tarot deck. It's by Earth Tricks. Um, it is a black and white deck. Uh, it is a 78 card deck based on the Rider Waite Smith, all um, using plants. It says, this is a collection of mythology and plant lore. Many of these tales are ancient, spanning history of human language. For as long as we've communicated with each other, we've sh shared tales of these precious plants. Okay, this is a card. That, uh, oh my goodness. This is a deck that comes in a tuck box. Um, <clears throat> just a regular tuck box. This is also just a regular size tarot deck. Um, comes with a little booklet, a little tiny booklet um, that's like quite small words. It goes right into the majors and then the minors. Oh my goodness. Majors and then it talks a little bit about the suit of swords, like what the overall meaning of swords is and then it goes into each of the cards. There are no pictures. Um, the description of the cards is quite short, but it is good. So there's that. Um, and that's it. Really doesn't tell you much about the author or anything like that. I did find it on Etsy. Um, and the cards themselves, they're actually, it's a, it's a nice card stock. It's um, a little bit shiny, but not too shiny. I just pulled this card today, the tower. And um, they shuffle well. I haven't shuffled them too much because I'm not a big shuffler, but you can hear it here. You can see they bend a little and they shuffle quite well. So we are going to take a look at the cards. Okay, so here we are. Here's the cards. I've pulled out the queens. Uh, I like to look at the queens first personally when I'm looking at a tarot deck. So here's the Queen of Swords. You'll see that in the background it has the symbol for air. And then here's the Queen of Pentacles. And in the background it has the symbol for earth. And then we have the symbol for water in the background of Queen of Cups. And Queen of Wands we have the symbol of fire. And here's the, again, the deck, um, the little white book, which is a little black book in this case. And then I'm gonna move to the cards. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. There we go. Yes. Okay. Just making sure that we're still recording. All right, so I love the mushrooms for the death card. Temperance. You know, let, let me just look at well, I'll look at that after. Five of Swords. This one is so lovely. Those are definitely air plants. And again, the tree. There's flames here at the bottom of the tree for the tower. Okay, so that's right. She used all of the same um, kind of plant for the, like the element is air in Swords. Let me just look though. The suit of Swords is associated with the element air, and she's using the plant family epiphytes epit means above or upon or beyond and fight means plants these are air plants that live on the branches of trees yes so and then cups let's see what she says about cups suit of cups is associated with the element water and it's the plant family hydrophytes hydro means water of course and fight means plant, and so she's using aquatic plants. That's cool. So that one looks like a lotus to me. These are probably all, oh, king of swords, king of cups. Oh, beautiful. Did I say king? I meant knight, sorry. Can, I can read, I swear. Oh, look at that one. That one's really pretty cattails. Oh yeah. Again, Eight of Cups, look at those beautiful cards. I like the symbolism that she has on these cards. So you can really see the suit is in the cups, but also the symbol of water. So it's a little bit of a pippy kind of deck in, in that 
there's not a huge difference um, in the the six and the four of cups cards. Um, it's just kind of the four plants, and then you have to infer a little bit more about what this three and four and two of cups means. It's not um, as much of an intuitive deck. Oh, wands. All right, let's see what it says about wands. The suit of wands is associated with the element fire. Here is represented by the plant family angiosperms. Um, flowers are both the sperm and the ovary of these plant species. The flower is it's meant to entice, oh, and attract creatures of the earth to come in with their fold, to come into and nestle in their folds. Interesting. But the cards are very beautiful. I'm not sure if she says while we're here, why don't we look at, does she tell us which, sorry, does she tell us the name of the car, the plant? No. This is a, yep. Yeah. So this, we don't know the actual name of the plant. That looks like a lily to me. These are definitely air plants. Again, this is a pippy deck, so there's not a huge difference. Okay, pentacles. The suit of pentacles is associated with the element earth, and here it's nut-bearing trees. Oh, okay, that's very interesting. So these are all the nuts. Cool. So it's a definitely botanical-based deck. It's beautiful drawings. Very. Um, you'll need to know a little bit about your tarot cards before. No, it's not so much of an intuitive deck is what I'm trying to say. The world. Ooh, judgment. That's beautiful. This one is so beautiful. The sun and the moon. Those are also two of my favorite cards to look at when I first get a deck. They're so very different here. It does convey their meaning, I think. The Ace of Pentacles. Oh, and the Devil. That's interesting. You're in, there is, you know, the out, oh my goodness, I cannot talk. It definitely feels like you're being held in or you're con being controlled, right? Or something is being controlled. The Hanged Man. Justice. That one's very pretty. The Wheel of Fortune. The Hermit. I like the star in the mountains. King of Pentacles. Strength. Oh, you can definitely feel that in this card. Beautiful. I, I have been drawn to black and white decks lately just because, ooh, the magician. Interesting. Just because, ooh, the emperor, sorry. Because of the, the black and white is very um, clean, although I do love color, so I don't know. The lovers, the fool, the dandelion, right? The star, oh, that one's beautiful. Nine of Wands, the Empress, Pomegranate, and Eight of Wands, and the Hierophant, oh, and the Seven of Wands. So that is a quick walkthrough of the Terra Botanical Tarot deck by Earth Tricks. I will put a link to their Etsy shop below, and thank you so much for watching.